lot of you guys are asking me a lot of things. So, um, since we did a lot of Airbus and Boeing jets, why not we do an Embraer? Right here. This is the aircraft. So this is the Perspective Aeronautics Embraer 190. It is one of the CSG airplanes and also one of the cheaper CSG aircraft. Now, compared to this to a lot of the models, the model looks pretty fine, a lot, pretty okay for like an early, ver like close to the version near to a SkyTech A320, which is pretty quite nice. I do see a bit of more detail at the landing gear and things, although the, although there is a bit of like creases and some places are not quite smooth on the um, aircraft. But overall, the exterior looks quite nice. Now let's see what's inside. Now, does the plane have an actually working door though? This is the airplane is quite on a cheap scale. That I hope it does have like, you know, the basic functions. I mean, it does have a crew seat, but I don't think, oh. Yeah, the door is not gonna work properly. How do you need to? So the plane is quite on a, door does not work like on a smaller scale and rare even the rear door does as well wow of course it doesn't work well with r15 avatar so you gotta need to use a little bit of admin to brute force it in now let's go into the flight flight characteristics of course this airplane is run by this good old in up cm32 kit i actually put the test kit on it and we'll do a little bit of flight run Bad. No anchor. Oh, of course the fuselage ain't doing much. The anchor glide doesn't even work. So let's see. Let's see how to test the engines. Okay, the plane does have some sounds. The spoiler does work. See the reverse thrust. Not gonna lie, they their play does have some bells and features up. Quite on the good side for the Embraer. The flaps. I wanna see the flaps. I don't can't see it. Try to go. That's two. There we go. Oh the inner flaps work. Surprising. Surprising the inner flaps work. So all the flaps does work, I'm going to use flaps 2 today. It does have all the lights, including an anchor mode system, but it doesn't really have a lot of things. So let's take a look at the flight characteristics of this guy. This very good old plane kit. But yeah. So um, I can't even go through the back, I have to extend this UPU counter. I mean, this airplane is like a cheap and out version of the regular E190. What I'm going to do is text a quick taxi. It sounds like an A320 as well, combined to the Embraer. Next it in. Oh, it's still a bit of vibration. And let's take off. Speed's only 100 knots for a rotation here. I do like the kit, but it's a little bit super difficult to fly it normally. And you can I mean, compared to this, this is a two-man crew airplane. But surprisingly, it does have a functioning, uh... Well, not really functioning, first off, if, because the plane kit is basically invisible to the naked eye. Pretty weird. I'm gonna do a little flight device. Oh! Yeah. So that didn't came with real surprise. Um, take two. It's pretty low speed as well, and the Embraer is basically the performance of a glider. It's the same CM32 kit, so flies well, like a very small little uh, turtle. But surprisingly, the kit does have a stall function when you pull the nose a little. Bit. I'll see how far what I can do. Is just stall the Embraer. Just 
Let's see, can I land this airplane despite it looks like the kid has a bit of issues? A little too high. Try to relax. Let's see, can it butter? Nice. It's not so hard, but takeoff is a little bit of a nightmare while this thing should be like, you know, not too much of an issue. But uh, yeah. We'll stop on the runway. Well, yeah, it does have engine rotation as well. So, what are my overall thoughts on the perspective Camaro 19? Now, compared to this, a cheap airplane can be a little bit of a problem. But if you're going to be cost cutting, like you know, like insane, just to make a plane work properly, I think cost cutting might be the only alternative for this model. But overall, I mean, if it, if it's like they use like a better plane kit, like a Vaseo Free or B3 Free or any other kit, it shouldn't be a problem. But overall, the plane is alright, but yeah. But the, for the price of 650 Robux, it is a lot cheaper than literally getting a very expensive A320 currently with the price point of 4200 from Airware. But yeah, it's a very cheap airplane as well. But overall, Packs a pretty good punch, although the plane, you get used to the really fancy airplanes, and I really like it. But in this airplane, it does work well for beginners in row apps, so if they need it, the airplane's just for them. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!